All right, Choma Junwa is live on the program today. Glad to have you on Sports Desk on TVC. Thank you for having me here. Uh, well, um, you've been excited about the fact that Sebrume um, broke your long time, uh, long jump record. Um, what does this development mean for you, for athletics in Nigeria, and for the young lady I say who is blazing the trail? Actually, I was very happy seeing the record being broken by a young lady just 25 years old. Um, I believe that um, Nigeria should have had so many other athletes that would have been able to um, go more than that. You know, 25 years, two decades plus. It's not a small year. Mm -hmm. So, seeing it being broken after 25 years, I think it's a thing of joy because mm -hmm. he made us, he opened Nigeria up for other people to start thinking that we are finished. That's the way I was perceiving it. You know, and I feel so hot in my spirit that why should it be like this? Because a record meant to be broken. Mm -hmm. you know, staying that long, I won't say because I am the owner of the record, it meant to be broken. Mm -hmm. And if we couldn't do that, it then means other countries will be laughing at us. <laughs> like you proceeded, it took 25 years, you know, uh, for Esther to break your 6.56 meters? No, 7.12 meters. 7.12 meters, yeah. A long jump, uh, long jump uh, record. Was it that that distance you left was extraordinary? Or perhaps uh, it was Nigeria not doing enough? to breed uh, the right talents that can really uh, uh, or have the capacity to step into your shoes? Well, um, it's really a long distance, but it doesn't mean that it's too much for someone to be broken. You know, that was why I was saying that it has stayed too long. You know, when you work very hard, there's nothing, and you believe in God, there's nothing impossible. That's true. So, With God, all things are possible. Of course. <laughs> okay, also on the program with me is um, uh, Dalitin Momo. He's, he's a spokesperson, a great dynamic. The group putting together the um, Choma Ajunwa movie. I read that much earlier. Um, the trials and triumphs of Choma Ajunwa. Thank you for coming on the program today. My pleasure. I'm sure our viewers will be very much um, interested to know what kind of movie this will be? I mean, um, the trials and triumph of Choma Ajunwa. Tell us the story of this movie. Is it going to be an action movie, a romantic movie, a blockbuster movie? What is it about? Well, it's, I think it's not something we want to we want to <laughs> let out now. We want to we, we, we want to we want to leave that uh, uh, details for now. But what is important is that uh, here is uh, this heroine who has done so much for this country, mm -hmm. how much recognition has she gotten? For 25 years, a woman who did us proud. The first woman to win us individual uh, Olympic medal. In fact, the first gold. medal, gold medal, uh, far away in Atlanta. What is her state? The essence of all of this is to come to like her rescue. How many people are talking about Chioma, Chioma Ajunwa today? She's still alive. It's, it's about you know, eulogizing and bringing to limelight that same woman while she's alive. It's not when most of them pass out or pass on, you begin to say, well, they did this, they did this, they did that. Singing praises. Singing praises of them. It's what, usual with the black race. <laughs> what, have we, what have we done? What has the government done for this lady? A woman who has put us in, on that map that history in itself can never forget. Mm. Today, when you speak about Choma Ajunwa, you look at her like many other athletes who have done this country proud. What happens? What is, what, is, what is the economic status of this lady? How much recognition has she received beyond MON? Great dynamics talents is coming again to put smiles on her face. We're taking her around. We have programs in the 36 states. We're calling on the, the governors of all of these states. We're calling on uh, captains of industries to say, come help us eulogize this woman. Come help us say thank you to her.
come help us make other youths who are rechanneling their energy into insecurity today believe that if they make this country proud, that they will be given positive recognition. If the likes of Choma are not given that recognition, the person who selflessly, almost selflessly, won that medal for us. When the national anthem was sung, when she stood up there, it was not the national anthem of her village. Choma is a Nigerian. She's an African. She represented not just Nigeria, but Africa. She won that gold, not just for Nigeria, but for Africa. What is the state? Today, Great Dynamics Talent has said it has come to this, this, the same time where we have to put her before other people and say, this is the heroine. Let us honor her. That we are going to use drama to talk about her story, a touching story. And we are also looking at people supporting this project so that it can, it can, we can realize it uh, positively. And then she, again, will feel that, that same uh, 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 delight she felt on that day she climbed that podium where the Nigerian national flag was flown and the national anthem was sung and she was decorated with that gold medal. Okay, Choma, I, I mean, um, 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 Mr. Momo almost made me very emotional with um, his submissions. Indeed, uh, when um, legends are able to um, make a country proud, uh, when they're able to stake a claim and do certain things that others haven't done, they deserve to be recognized. We keep talking about the likes of Samuel Okwaraji, who died in 1989, and all uh, that was done in memory of that man is the bust in front of the national stadium. You remember how Sam Okwaraji traveled to this country on his own? Nigeria can do his flight ticket? Nigeria can do more. Nigeria can actually do more. Tell us how you prepared for the Olympic Games in Atlanta. Just in few words. Well, I want to thank um, Chief Shego Dewami and Nigerian Police Force. I think it's, it was on these two platforms that I was able to get to the Olympics. Nigerian police in the sense that they gave me that release that I should go there and showcase my talent. And Chief Shego Degwami put all the resources together to make sure that I travel outside this country, I got all the necessary trainings, went to training tours to make sure that I should acclimatize to the weather where we're going to do the Olympics. All those things cost him a lot of money but he did it alone. And I want to give um, a special thank to the family of uh, blessed memory, um, Chief Remy uh, Olumide, the owner of IGI, who gave me insurance cover then. You know, I can tell you that without these um, people I mentioned now, getting it that Olympic, it wouldn't have been possible. Interesting. Um, you've always talked about building an academy in, in the eastern part of um, Nigeria. Uh, what are the latest about um, that um, development? Yes. Um, some time ago, um, I was given a parcel of land for that. And I don't want to do any other thing. I want to put a legacy, you know, to make sure that every other... Um, sports talent because I started when I was very young I wasn't had that opportunity of using stadium all the time mm -hmm. and which you can attest with me that up to today stadium is not being open to all the athletes True. to be used True. so I just want to leave that legacy that I will have uh, a sports development center where every athlete coming from all news and cranny of this nation, even from Af any African country, can say, oh, we want to go and train here. And every time they need it, they will train. So that is... More like, a high, uh, like a high performance center? That's athletes. right. Absolutely. That's right. Uh, before I let you go, um, uh, Mr. Momo, um, what's been the response, you know, uh, from um, the corporate world, in, um, individuals that have been spoken to as regards this Choma Juma project? project? Yeah, we have written to all the 36 state uh, uh, governors. We are beginning to get response, uh, but I don't think they will want us to talk about it on air right okay. now. But watch out for uh, uh, this week. We'll be meeting with uh, one of the uh, uh, governors who has responded. And then we're also looking at others who would come to our aid. 
you are not coming to our aid, you are coming to the aid of this country's celebrity. Choma, in all definition, is somebody anybody will want to encourage. Today, if you look at her, she's still serving this nation, aside from winning the Olympic gold, uh, Olympics gold medal, in the capacity of uh, a police officer. True. Still putting her life there True. for you and I to be able to sleep and close our eyes. True. So why won't she get the desired uh, support? True. We want the governors to come to her aid. We want the presidency to come to her aid. We want captains of industries to come to her aid. We have written, we are okay. making passionate appeal to all of them that it is not just for her. Whatever you do today to make us smile, the youths are watching. That's true. They can begin to think of how to rechannel their energies away okay. from insecurity okay. and getting into sports. She has done a lot. She has made sacrifices That's true. for this country. And That's the true. records are there. The first person to put Nigeria on okay. the Olympics map. Okay. All right. So in all, it's a passionate appeal. All of them, we are uh, reaching to well, them. We are discussing with them. And we're hoping that... Positively, this come platform, August second. This platform is is widely monitored by this person. Uh, this person you just mentioned. Yes, and absolutely. I want to believe strongly they are watching and would respond. Many thanks to you for coming, uh, Mr. Momo. Thank you, Choma Juma, for being you. a part of the show. Very uh, the, the best of luck uh, to you in all your future endeavors. That's